okay today we uh, we shall be developing a general to specific model that we shall develop to be today general to specific model that we want to develop today so first i talk about our model here we have five variables uh, in a hypothetical country like Maria land and here uh, I have used time series data from 1960 until 2010 so uh, here uh, the time series data uh, has been used from 1960 to 2010 and here and M2 so these are the my model so this one actually my model and here M2 is the dependent variable and ER GDP LR and dummy are the independent variable and what is m2 demand for money that is m2 and lr lr is the lending rate in bank that is lr and gdp gross domestic product and er exchange rate and here the dummy dummy is the exogenous variable and here uh, here dummy zero means to close to close door policy so when I use the zero meaning that uh, the policy is closed door so we are following a closed door economic policy while one means open door economic policy so in, uh, so in dummy zero means closed door policy and one means open door economic policy and if the dummy variable is found positive and significant after estimation meaning that open door policy has an impact on M2 what is M2 demand for money and here M2, GDP, LR and ER are endogenous variables while dummy is exogenous variable. So that is our model. And what is objective? Our objective uh, is to develop a dynamic model where demand for money is dependent variable meaning that our model is actually demand for money demand for money that is our the model actually demand for money model and factors affecting the demand for money that is our main main uh, main thing for this uh, particular model and here uh, the, the uh, this approach we shall be applied that means general to specific model approach shall be applied okay so first we do the unit root testing suppose our four endogenous variables had unit root at level 
but after first differencing they become stationary and here uh, I here I am not testing the unit root but just assuming that all endogenous variables become stationary after first differencing so it is my assumption only but I am not testing it I am just uh, uh, I am just uh, uh, assuming that all our four variables such as M2 M2 LR GDP and ER so the, the they have unit root at level but when I convert all the variables into first difference they become stationary so that is my assumption okay then I talk about the test of co-integration if the variables are integrated of the same order we can apply the Johansen Justlias maximum likelihood method of cointegration to obtain the number of cointegrating vector right so that is the guideline all the time that means uh, if the variables are integrated of same order only then we can apply Johansen Juslias test of cointegration. And as our endogenous variables such as M2, ER, LR, GDP are integrated of the same order, we can apply the Johansen Juslias maximum likelihood method of cointegration to obtain the number of cointegrating vector or equation and after estimating the Johansen test our four endogenous variables are found to be cointegrated meaning that they move together in the long run or they have long run association ship okay then I talk about ECM model error correction model if the variables are found to be uh, co-integrated we can specify an error correction model under VECM environment that means when the variables are co-integrated then we can apply the ECM model all the time and here what we have uh, what I have done here removing insignificant in insignificant variables but keeping signi significant variables sorry not uh, uh, yes variables so what what I have done here after estimating the error correction model I shall be deleting those variables which are insignificant while keeping those which are significant and finally I shall be adding some variables having no lag and also I shall be adding dummy variables so and and and, and uh, 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 that is called General, general to specific model meaning that after estimating the 
ECM model, then uh, after estimating ECM model, I shall be deleting all the insignificant variables and keeping all the significant variables. And also I shall be adding some variables which have no lack and also I shall be adding the dummy variable. So that, uh, uh, so, th so th these are the things I shall be doing.